The Jabara Award for Airmanship, awarded to Air Force Academy graduates whose accomplishments demonstrate superior performance in the air. Who was Colonel James Jabara, after whom tonight's award is named? Jabara was initially deemed too short and allegedly had poor eyesight. He was told he would not be considered for pilot training. Nevertheless, he enlisted as an aviation cadet at Fort Riley, Kansas, passing all required medical standards. After attending four flying schools, Jabara earned his pilot's wings and a commission as second lieutenant at Moorefield, Texas in October 1943. Between 1944 and 1945, Jabara flew two tours of combat duty during World War II, flying a total of 108 combat missions. He received the Distinguished Flying Cross and the Air Medal for his efforts. He arrived in Korea on December 13, 1950 with the 4th Fighter Interceptor Wing, the first F-86 unit deployed to counter the threat to Allied air operations by Soviet MiG-15s. His first confirmed kill was on April 3, 1951. Over the next month and a half, Drabar would shoot down five more MiG-15s, making him the first American jet ace in history. On May 20, 1951, the day he shot down his 5th and 6th MiGs, Jabara was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross Award for his heroics. He also earned a Silver Star with an Oak Leaf Cluster Award. After a stateside publicity tour, he returned to Korea at his request, now a major for another tour of duty. He would shoot down another nine MiGs for a total of 15. Today, his legacy of excellence lives on with the Colonel Jabara Award for Airmanship. And now, we honor Colonel Tyler Nick Hay, Class of 1998, and Major Caitlin T. Riley, Class of 2007, the 58th and 59th recipients of this prestigious award. Air Force Colonel Tyler Nick Haig serves as an astronaut at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. A member of the 2013 astronaut class, Haig was the first of that group to be assigned to a space mission as a Soyuz pilot with a rare two-person crew. On the morning of October 11, 2018, Colonel Haig and his crewmate, Russian cosmonaut Alexei Ovchinin, launched towards the International Space Station from Baikonur Cosmodrome in central Kazakhstan. Two minutes into the flight, the rocket's first stage failed to separate. A lack of thrust gave way to violent oscillations, which began to shake the crew. Colonel Haig and Ovchinin's training kicked in as the pair stepped through procedures to regain control of the spacecraft. Within seconds, they correctly selected a ballistic entry. Colonel Haig's cool demeanor and professionalism helped the crew survive this extremely rare in-flight abort the first for an American and only the third in history. In March 2019, Colonel Haig and Ovchinin successfully launched and spent more than six months aboard the International Space Station before returning safely back to Earth. Major Caitlin Riley deployed four times in support of Operations Inherent Resolve, Freedom Sentinel, and Resolute Support between January 2017 and September 2018. Major Riley's ingenuity made her the MAGCOM choice to lead two first-of-their-kind U-28A operations that directly accomplished national-level objectives. In August 2018, Major Riley and the rest of the U-28 crew of Draco 42 received the McKay Trophy for their distinguished actions during a flight in support of Operation Freedom Sentinel. Major Riley's superb airmanship and leadership allowed her to perform exceptionally in the most challenging of missions, from developing new and innovative ways to utilize unique U-28A capabilities, to leveraging her crew and mission systems to maximize U-28A lethality in combat. Major Riley demonstrated over the course of multiple deployments that she set and maintained the highest operation standards for both herself and her crews, resulting in 679 enemy and 56 high-value targets removed from the battlefield between 2017 and 2018. Colonel Haig and Major Riley's persistent leadership and superior performance reflects highly on the Air Force Academy's contribution to airmanship and aviation.